Hello and welcome to another Wingate 7 sneak peek series video. In this short video, we're going to look at how you can use Wingate's powerful policy system to provide personal internet browsing to your users outside of work hours. Our sample policy uses a blacklist to block access to offensive sites at all times. It uses a list of restricted sites to provide personal browsing to normal users outside of work hours. Members of the managers group are allowed to browse the restricted sites at any time. Wingate 7's new flowchart policy framework makes setting up sophisticated policies like this quite straightforward. When we receive a proxy request, we first check if it is from an authenticated user. If not previously authenticated, we test the IP address to see if they're an internal user. If not, they're forced to authenticate. Internal and authenticated users continue through the policy. Next we have a switch that controls our work hours restrictions. This switch is a simple boolean check and is configured in the global data window. If the switch is set to true, then we are restricting browsing and we check to see whether we're within our defined work hours. If we're outside work hours, we jump straight to the end of the policy. In other words, we don't restrict browsing. If we are within work hours, we have another switch that controls the restricted sites check. If we get a match on our restricted sites list, then the user must be a member of the managers group. Otherwise, we ask them to authenticate. If the site is not restricted, or if the user is in the managers group, we test the allowed method, and finally check the site against our blacklist. Failure on either of these tests results in the request being denied. So let's watch now as our employee Bob tries to access a new site, firstly during work hours. As you can see, Bob's being asked to authenticate because he's not a member of the manager's group. Let's go back to the policy and change the work hours as easily as that. Save the policy and go back to Bob and refresh the page. And now Bob can access the new site. Returning to the policy window, we can see the path through the policy that Bob's request took and we can see statistics for the policy. This can help to understand how the policy is working and refine the flow through the policy. So that's a quick look at how you can use Wingate 7's policies to easily provide your users with flexible web access. For more information, visit wingate7.com. Thanks for watching.